Transport in many parts of Kenya remains a challenge, but the convenience and ease of travel created by the advent of the motor motorcycle taxis and three-wheelers, commonly known as tuk-tuks, is surely something to behold. So are tuk-tuks a marvel of convenience or just a menace? Tobias Chanji answers that question from the county of Kwale. Diani in Kwale County is famed for its pristine white beaches. Holiday goers from all across Kenya, the region and the entire world converge here during the festive season. The roads here are quiet, relaxed and laid back. Today, however, the pristine silence is broken by a loud engine. Meet the tuk-tuk, as these noisy three-wheelers are popularly known. Last year, at this time of the year, there were countable tuk-tuks on Kuala's road. Today, however, the number of tuk-tuk has more than tripled, and with it, the noise and pollution. For both the driver of matatus and tuk-tuks, the festive season has been a good one, as holiday makers descended on the area. <laughs> The two, however, concur that there are a few tuk-tuk drivers who are not well trained and have been breaking the traffic laws. Compared to any other means of transport, passengers describe tuk-tuks as convenient. It's not only locals who enjoy the convenience of the tuk-tuk. Even foreign tourists have been caught up in the tuk-tuk craze. The tuk-tuks are very, very many here, but uh, they are driving very, very fast. And they have passengers like uh, six, seven, but it's only allowed three of them and uh, yeah i really i'm scared when i'm going with them others say the loud noise is the only nuisance associated with tuk-tuks but urges for more sensitization of drivers and riders but uh, as days goes by i see them improving every day just a few but uh, through public awareness i know they, they can there can be great changes the use of tuk-tuks, as they are widely known here, has rendered jobless matatu drivers and border border riders. Being a town driven by tourism, riding a tuk-tuk has become part of the tourism experience. Tobias Chanji, KT News Business in the county of Kuala.